some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Washington State, where we find the frauditor known as El Dope Dog as he attempts to, well, file complaints on some officers who trespassed him from the local housing authority. But he ends up proving that he knows less about the law than Chile de Castro himself. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, good. Let me do a checkup on this uh, trespass that I got here. Yeah, let's do that. I, I would like to apologize in advance for the quality of the volume control in this uh, particular video. I could barely hear him uh, on my uh, computer whenever I started editing, and I had to turn up the gain by 1400% just to have him at normal level. So just bear with me and uh, we'll get through this. Hi. I, I need a, a sergeant. Okay. If you go to that phone on the wall, uh -huh. you'll pick up to the river come and then they'll get you an officer you can speak with. Oh, thank you. Sure. So, uh, I need a contact river call in order to get, uh, Hi, I need to speak to a sergeant. Uh, and officer's conduct. Yeah. Good citizen. You can let him know that I, I, a good, a good citizen. Is contacting you guys. Oh, I need to make a complaint against an officer. Can I speak to a sergeant, please? Is there a sergeant at the uh, here? I'm here. I'm here at the river calm. I'm here at the police station. I, I'm. Do you know this is the lobby phone I'm calling from? Yeah, Wenatchee Police Department. I need, I need a sergeant from the Wenatchee Police Department. Yeah. Thank you. Right. She says she'll let him know, and they'll see if uh, anybody wants to come down here and contact me. Yeah, we're not going to sit around waiting another 10, 15 minutes for anybody to come down here to listen to this moron. So let's just speed it up as fast as my uh, editor can do, which happens to be roughly about 4,100% of normal speed. So, yeah, it's going to go by fast. Hello, just so you know everything's being recorded, uh, what can I help you with? Yeah, I, I, uh, so I, I, I got kind of a complaint against one of your, what, one of the officers okay. that work here. Okay. <clears throat> well, I can walk you through that process, so what's up? Sure, okay, so <clears throat> he just confronted me and uh, gave me a trespass warning. Okay. So I don't know how that works. So they trespassed you from the property? From a public property. Okay. Yeah. Which public property are we talking about? It was the housing authority. Okay. Was that at the request of whoever works at the housing authority? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. So I got a question for you, El Dopey Dog. If the housing authority uh, asked you to leave, then why the hell didn't you leave? You do know that 
uh, if you're asked to leave off of any property, pretty much, you can be trespassed, right? Or are you just that little, well, thick-headed that you can't figure it out? I know you're not exactly, uh, well, the smartest frauder out there. In fact, you're probably on the other end of the spectrum as far as intelligence with frauders go. So, yeah, I don't think you have the mental capacity to even figure that out, like most frauders do. But you're a rather unique case here. Your ma are, are you upset with the fact that they no, trespassed no, you from it? No, no, no. He, that he went there after they called you, you guys. He went there and gave me a pink slip, a trespass warning. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, how, how can you do that? Well, if we have a property owner or whoever is responsible for the property oh. says that they want to trespass you, they have the right to do that. And that warning isn't like a criminal citation or anything. It just says you can't go back. For okay, the, the, thing, the thing is the public... Business can't do that uh, unless, uh, unless I commit a crime. And there he goes, parroting the standard uh, frauditor lines that you have to commit a crime to be tra trespassed. Uh, no, you don't. Here is the uh, first degree criminal trespass, dude. Uh, s show me where it says that you have to commit a crime in order to be trespassed out of this uh, particular statute right here. It's very short. But it doesn't say anything about having to commit a crime, doofus. Nope. Or, yeah, because uh, where the public can go, I can go. Okay. You didn't know that? Are, you didn't know that. There, there are certain ways that you can... Publicly go. accessible areas where I can go and get information? Yes. I can go there. You can still get And because I was doing that, the, one of the workers there, the manager, he told me to leave. Okay. And then he called you guys yep. and wanted me to trespass. Yep. So, is that you stand behind him? 100% I do. So, because I didn't commit a crime that I was peacefully exercising my freedom of the okay. press, uh, you guys are going to deprive me of my rights and the color of law. Oh, come on now, dude. Uh, you got to be smarter than that. Oh, wait, I'm talking about old Dup here. He's not your average frauditor. Uh, he's probably the below average frauditor. But at any rate, uh, uh, come on now, yeah, you gotta have a better argument than that. I mean, color of law, you gotta realize that's civil rights, right? I mean, it doesn't exactly apply here. Yes, I, I haven't... Okay, I okay, yes, that's so, what I want to hear, yes. So where is this at? The Housing Authority? Yeah, you don't know where that's at? I'm it's, not familiar it's, with the case. HUD, right? HUD? It's not a case, he's just getting a pink slip. Right, when I say case, I mean like the incident. Every yeah, he was didn't. He was not going to give that to me. He just walked away. I started telling, sir, I'm over here just uh, doing a first minute audit. I'm a government. Okay. And he said, if I come back onto that property, I, I'll be arrested. He said, I'm trespassed for five years. So, uh, I, how does that work? I, 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 I'm, I'm how interested. How it works is that if you go back there within five years, then you would be subject to arrest for trespassing. Uh, the property owner or whoever is responsible for it does have the right. They can come down and write us a letter and remove that trespass notice uh, if they choose to do that. Uh -huh. So, uh, well, I, I'm trespassed from the alley. Right here, right behind your, this building. Okay. So, uh, so you guys not gonna arrest me for trespassing? Uh, I don't know if you're trespassed from the alley, but I would assume you're trespassed from like the parking garage. It is clear. Vasquez and Hewitt, they violated my civil rights back there. Yeah, so that would be uh, probably from the garage, not the alley. No, I didn't go to the garage. Okay. I never stepped foot in the garage. That's the restricted zone. I know what restricted is. See, I can't go back there behind behind where you guys can. Correct. Some place only. Yes. And that, okay. That okay. But out here, where I can come and get a complaint form, get information, get help from you guys. Yep. I can record, and I can even be here before, after you guys are here. So the housing authority one was last year, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm not seeing where you're trespassed from our alleyway. Uh, well, well, see, I have to get that taken care of right now. I'm going to go to court and they're going to dismiss my charges. Okay. 
You see, because what you guys do is you guys throw people in jail and have the public, the, the district attorney yep. decide on if to move forward with any charges or not. That's not what you guys are supposed to do. Wait a second. Uh, did he just say that uh, it's not the job of the district attorney to see if uh, the uh, charges can move forward or not? Uh, dude, that is one big part of the DA's job to see if the charges can go forward or not. Man, oh man, whoever gave you an education, you should go back to them and ask for your money back, even if you didn't pay them any money, because they really, uh, well, misinformed you. Do you, do you know what the oath that you took when was the to become an officer? Do you know the oath? Yeah. What oath? What, yeah, what, what oath is that? I'm interested. The oath of office that you did. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. and what, 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 what entails that? What is inside that oath? That you have uh, to protect our, the Constitution, right? Our freedoms, right? Correct. Like freedom of the press. And right. enforcing the law. So if I come in here, okay, just like the housing authority. The difference just, is no, you start no, there's no, there's no difference oh, so between here and the talk. housing. Okay, go ahead and there, There's no difference between here and the housing authority. Okay. okay. If they want to trespass me, you could too. Could you trespass me right here, right now? Just because you don't want me in here videotaping, getting public information, could you trespass me? Can you trespass me right now? Do you want me to give you an actual answer, or do you want me to start talking, and then you can interrupt? Okay, go ahead and talk. Else. Go ahead and talk about something else. Go ahead and talk. It all depends on your behavior. If you're creating a disturbance within here and trying to incite a uh, an incident, an altercation, or something like that, and create issues that are disrupting the peace, I'm so trying that, to answer the question. Again, I'm trying to give you... For Auditor, uh, if you would shut up and listen, he was actually answering your questions, and it was actually making sense. He was saying you would be trespassed based upon your behavior, and he has said nothing about the camera yet. At least not yet, anyway. But it's all about behavior, and that's what we keep on saying about these frauders. It's not, never about the camera itself. It's about the behavior of the person holding the camera. An answer, but you can't keep your mouth shut. No, but you already said you, you can violate my rights. I don't see it that way at all. Because we have freedom of the press. Control. Where I can go where it's publicly accessible, right? Can we agree on that? Can we agree on that? I can be in here videotaping? Can we agree on that? Yes, depending on what your behavior is like during okay. that time. Totally quiet. You could ask the receptionist, yeah, so right how, how was my behavior? You could ask them. You got video cameras in here. You can see how my behavior is. I, I, Same again, thing over there at the housing authority. They have cameras too. Uh, again, and you're I, sitting here trying to talk to me, and any time that I respond, you immediately cut me off and then start arguing with me and telling me how I'm wrong. So do you want me to just stand here and be quiet, and then you can sit here and tell me everything that you want, or do you want an actual conversation? <laughs> Sorry, officer, but I think uh, what he wants you to do is to blow smoke uh, up his ass so he can live inside of his beautiful delusional world where nobody but the frauders have uh, rights and uh, they make you bow down and lick their boots. Okay, can you trespass me from here right now? Uh, I don't think so. And uh, how can the housing authority do it? Different entity. No, it's public entity. Depending it's not a private business, sir. Right, again, that, and so I have a question for you then. If you have a different opinion than what the law is. It's not an opinion, so the law is already written. Again, am I allowed to ask you a question without you interrupting me? Because I can't get, like, have a conversation with you. Wait, you can't wait, wait, wait. Again, okay, okay. because you can't keep your mouth shut. My opinion about the law. Right, your interpretation of it. How do you know what that is? I, that's what I'm asking. Oh, now you're asking. I just got done asking you a question a minute ago before you interrupted me. So, uh -huh. okay. So, what is the complaint that you were wanting to deal with? That trespass warning. I want to complain about that. Okay. And how would you, the complaint is is that you don't feel that you should have been trespassed from there? I was unlawfully trespassed from there. That's the complaint. He broke the law to trespass me. He doesn't have the authority to trespass me. 
Julius doesn't. Neither does the housing authority employees until I do something wrong. Okay. Like my behavior, like you were saying. If I'm in there quietly to myself, talking to my audience members on my cell phone, okay, and an employee comes up and tells me, what am I doing? I can't be recording in there and I must leave. That's interrupting me. That's disturbing my peace. Okay. Okay. That's what you got to understand. Okay. Now, if I come in here waving my arms with a sign, I can't protest in here. I know what time, place, and manner is. That's a part of journalism. We got to know these things, our freedoms. So, will I be arrested if I go back there in the publicly accessible areas? I need information about how to get housing. Uh, yes, yeah, so you obviously have a cell phone, correct? So you can make a phone call to them and tell them, hey, I have been trespassed from your place for five years. I need help with housing. How do I go about it? And if you work with them that way... What the fuck? <laughs> No, officer, you're overcomplicating it. You can't tell them that the camera double, doubles as an actual cell phone. Otherwise, they'll realize that they could have done this stuff over the phone. Like it usually is done when you can't reach an area due to certain circumstances, especially like being trespassed. Oh my God, if you tell them that, then the cat is out of the bag. That uh, this has been going on for, well, well over a hundred years that people can uh, call uh, government buildings and ask them about the services they offer instead of going in there and acting like a complete moron and getting trespassed. Uh, I would imagine they have the ability to come down here, remove that trespass notice, and you can go in there and work with them in person to do it. Otherwise, well, when somebody gets a trespass warning, right, or a trespass like I did, yeah. uh, with my name on it and everything, because I never gave him my name or ID. Right. Just, yeah, okay. we know who you Cause, are. Because, so. yeah, because he doesn't like me at all. Who? Okay. Officer Ruiz? Yeah, he's one of the officers that doesn't like oh. me at all. Okay. And, and because he, he, he doesn't like me, he gave me that warning. See, just because you don't like somebody doesn't mean you can, you can violate their freedoms like that. See, because now that I've watched you come but, after Officer Ruiz. Now, no, personally, I have watched you do that. When we have been come after office. him? Yes. How? That we have been out doing our own. We were out on uh, Apple Blossom uh -huh. doing our bike yeah. control. Yeah. We were not engaging with you or anything no, like that. No. And you were running. Because he has a blue line, line flag. Right. But you're telling me that you don't have an issue with him? Or you do? That blue line flag is a. His attitude, his, his whole demeanor about his professionalism, of his job, okay? He thinks his badge and gun give him authority to take well, people's freedom away. Because he is a police officer to enforce laws. What gives him the authority is when somebody breaks the law. Okay. Then he gets the authority. Okay? okay? So he gets privilege over that person's freedoms. Okay? Okay? That's how you can detain somebody and make them answer certain questions. I don't know all this stuff. So what, what? how did he detain you that day when he said that he didn't ask for your name because he already knew it, and all he did was hand you a... I never said he detained me that day. He unlawfully, he unlawfully trespassed me. I, I he can't do that. So you and I, See, I have to break the law first. I have to go into that building, He's disrupt their business. That's how. Okay. I, I'm sorry you see it that way. I have evidence that I didn't disrupt their business. Then take it to court. Okay. Don't I get, when I get a trespass warning, don't I have to go, don't I get a court date? No. No. No, because it's a verbal warning. Then what's the pink slip warning? The, the pink slip is your formal notice that if you go back there, you are subject to arrest for trespassing. That's after a verbal warning. No, you don't have to be given a verbal warning and then... Pink slip is not a verbal warning. Right. I'm, I'm, again, will you let me finish so that I can explain it to you? Go ahead. We don't have to give you a verbal warning, let you leave, and then come back and then give you the pink slip, the written warning. Yeah. Of, you, you can't give me a pink slip because again, the, 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 the trespass is unlawful okay. to begin with. Okay. You can't, the, the, see, instead of asking me what I was doing there, 
He just gave it to me. He didn't ask me any questions. It doesn't matter. It's the business owner. They want you gone. It's a public business. Yep. They can't if they want me to. They're friends. Well, I can't trump my rights. I'm sorry that you feel that way. Wow. That's the law. Yep. So, trespass me. Just yep. like they did. Nope. No? Okay. Uh, All right. I think that we're going to leave because I have tried to answer Okay, okay. Uh, your uh, name and badge number? It is Corporal Ward, and it's 1K12. 1K12. Can I get your name? Sure. Officer Lee, 1K29. And, and you, sir? Officer Amel, 1K40. Okay, 1K40. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm not done. Well, uh, I got a couple more. Oh, they're done with your stupidity, dude. I mean, it's quite clear that you uh, have been influenced by some of the more dumbass frauditors out there and that, well, you lack the mental capacity to even go out and investigate this kind of thing for yourself and therefore you got yourself trespassed on several different occasions, not just this, but you actually got trespassed from a bus station because of your uh, inability to comprehend anything more complex than a spoon. So at any rate guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?